Hello boys and girls and welcome to the channel. Today I'm bringing you some live commentary and I'm going to be playing Dear Esther. So this is a game that's just been released on Steam. It used to be a Half-Life 2 mod but they've completely overhauled the graphics and some of the design and now they've released it as a full product on Steam. It's a first person adventure mystery game I guess and I've heard it's very good. I've not played it before so this is all new to me. Um, there's four chapters so each video is going to be a new chapter and we're just going to sort of get stuck in and see how it goes. Dear Esther, I sometimes feel as if I've given birth to this island. Oh, oh I, thought, I thought that was a cutscene or something. A okay. opened up and it beached remotely so he, gave, he gave birth to an no island. How hard I that must have been painful man. A singularity. Um, an alpha point in my life that refuses all hypothesis. Dear Esther. I return yeah. each time leaving fresh markers that I hope, in the full glare of my hopelessness, will have blossomed into fresh insight in the interim. Toilet. Um, so he was, that guy was talking to someone called Esther. Um, I've got no idea what it was about, but we're, um, wow. A spooky staircase. Hello, what's this? Bit of chemistry on the wall. Um, there's some paint. Some. It sort of looks like jizz, but I'll say paint. There's some paint there. Um, I was never any good at chemistry, so I've got no idea what that says. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but it doesn't look like there's anything else in here. What the? Oh, it's a bird. He's <laughs> he's off. I wonder where he's going. Um, is that an albatross? Maybe I can't. Oh, we can go left or right here, so um, we'll go. We'll go right. I think. Yeah. Why not? There's um. There's a red flashy light up there. Maybe that's sort of telling me which way to go. Um, so I'm gonna sort of walk over here. I guess. And this is um, <clears throat> this is a bit treacherous. Can we get round here? Uh, yeah, that's. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Let's. Should we go down here? Is this gonna kill me? Just. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, we're okay. Nice bit of skiing there, down that cliff. Um, it's quite a nice looking game. This. Uh, I mean, it sort of reminds me of an oil painting. It's very interesting. The colour palette they've gone for. Wow, guys, it's, a <laughs> it's actually got moving clouds. Welcome to 2012. We've got moving clouds in video games. That is um, impressive. So, I guess we'll just go... What is that? I don't like that, whatever it is. Oh my god, there's fucking... There's four of them over here. I just... I don't like things with grates on. I'm going to stay away from those. There's some... Um, no, I don't like them. There's some sort of opening over there, maybe? So we'll go and... Check that out, I guess. Some music's playing. When you were born, there he is, he's speaking again. Me, a hush fell over the delivery room. A great red birthmark covered the left side of your face. No one knew what to say, so you cried to fill the vacuum. I always admired you for that. That you one. cried to fill whatever vacuum you found. Sort of looks like a ship. I began to manufacture vacuums just to enable you to deploy your talent. The birthmark faded by the time you were six and had gone completely by the time we met, but your fascination with the empty and its cure remained. Right, so there was a birthmark on someone's face, and a guy likes to make vacuum cleaners. Um, I don't really know what to make of that. But there's a, some sort of diagram on the floor here. Sort of goes round and then BAM! That, whatever that is, that's where they're going, I guess. Um, let's carry on through here. I like this music, man. It's pretty, pretty epic. It's got the Baroque feel to it. Um, there's a little opening there. I found myself to be as featureless as this ocean. As shallow and unoccupied as this bay, a listless wreck without identification. My rocks are these bones, and 
careful fence to keep the precipice at bay. Um, Shot through is that a car door? Why is My there forehead a... a mount. There's some tyres here as well. Into me, sir. And another car All door. Overexposed the nervous system, where Donnelly's boots and yours and mine still. Who's Donnelly? I will carry a torch for you. I will leave it at the foot of my headstone. You will need it for the tunnels that carry me under. Um, I'm not really sure why there were a car door over there. Um, maybe we'll find out. And who's on about someone called Donnelly then as well? Who's Donnelly? So we've got Esther, we got Donnelly, and the guy that's speaking. Um, I don't think he's really mentioned anyone else yet. We'll see. Um, let's carry... Go, I don't think we could get around there anyway, so let's carry on going back at some nice seaweed there. Get that in a frying pan, get some salt on it. Oh, lovely bit of fried seaweed. Some more there, add that to the collection. And it looks like there's some stairs here. So, we'll go up the stairs. Um, I can't, like, move any faster than this, by the way, guys. I'm just sort of floating around. Um, I can't jump either. Um, <laughs> maybe I'm like an OAP or something. Like, and I've left my Zimmer frame on the boat that was over there or something like that. And that's why I'm moving so slow, guys, because I forgot my Zimmer frame. That is a noob mistake, okay? Never forget your Zimmer frame, especially when you're an OAP on an island where you don't know what the hell's going on. Um, that's where we started, so I guess we'll go this way. Back towards the Eye of Sauron, up there, in the sky. Um, <clears throat> and we'll see what this game has to offer. Reading um, Donnelly oh, by the week Donnelly again, he's sunlight. mentioned Donnelly. He landed on the south side of the island. Reading the Donnelly. to the bay and climbed the mount. He's an author. He did not find the caves, and he did not chart the north side. I think this is why his understanding of the island is flawed, incomplete. He stood on the mount and only wondered momentarily how to descend. <coughs> but then, he didn't have my reasons. Right, okay. So that's just revealed a bit more. Maybe Donnelly was some guy who's been to this island before, and he wrote a book about it? Because um, he was on about chartering it, and that's when you like... When someone had died or was dying... Or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice. Oh, he's such an emo, this guy. They cut parallel lines into the cliff, exposing the white chalk that... beneath. Okay, parallel lines. You could lines. see them from the mainland or the fishing boat, and notice and aid, or impose a cordon of protection, and wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts. My lines are just for this. To keep any would-be rescuers at bay. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Right, okay, so you can... Some people draw lines in the cliff face of the island for whatever reason, and he is... There's a stone there. He's doing it to keep people away, maybe? There's some more stones down there. And there's a little opening over there. I wonder if we can get in there. Um, I can't jump over here to check it out. But we'll, um, we'll see what's going on anyway. We are not like Lot's wife, you and I. We feel no particular need to turn back. There's nothing to be seen if we do. Who's Lot? Oh no tired old man parting the cliffs with his arms. No gifts or Bibles laid out on the sand for the taking. No tides turning or the shrieking gulls overhead. The bones of the hermit are no longer... Did that stone just speak to me? I have stolen... I swear to God that stone just said something. The passage is all run to black. And nah, that freaked me out, man. I heard that in my left headset. It just said something to me. I don't, I don't like these. I don't like this anymore. I don't like those stones either. I'm staying away from those stones. Um, that definitely made a sound. Um, no, I'm not a fan of that. That there's, a, there's another one there. I wonder if I, will this one say anything to me? Hello? No, that one didn't say anything. There's some... Um, what's down here? That looks like some sort of a boat has been shipwrecked and... There's a little crack. <laughs> a little crack over there in the in the cliff. So let's go and check that out. See what's in there. Uh, maybe Donnelly's Dear in. Esther, I met Paul. Paul? 
Who's Paul? I made my own little pilgrimage. Oh god, not another guy. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. <laughs> well, Wolverhampton, that's actually where I was born. Um, that's very strange. But there's nothing interesting in Wolverhampton. I don't know apology, why they <laughs> why they included that in the game. Um, thrown high and lucid by yeah. his own dented bonnet. What's he talking about? Another bonnet. had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. Right, okay. He's on about bonnets. And there were some car doors. And some I find myself increasingly unable to find that point where the hermit ends and Paul and I begin. Um, we are woven into guy a in sodden here? blanket, stuffed into the bottom of a boat Is to the stop the in leak here? and hold back Hello? the ocean. My no. neck aches from staring up at the aerial. It mirrors the dull throb in my gut where I'm sure I've begun to form another stone. In my dreams, it forms into a perfect representation of Lot's wife, head over her shoulder, staring along the motorway at the approaching traffic in a vacuum of fatalistic calm. Right, okay. He's going on about um, motorways and cars again, so that's obviously important. I thought the hermit would be in here or something. I was about to shit my pants, but he's not. Um, there's some... That looks like it's from biology. <laughs> like I said, guys, I didn't pay any attention in school to biology or chemistry, so I don't know what that is. Um, there's some weird things there. That one, I think that's an innuendo. This one, I'm not sure. And that one sort of looks like a tree, um, I guess. But, you know, I just don't... It's a little bit of paper there or something. Let's see what that is. There's another paint pot there as well. So that's obviously what's being used to um, paint these things on the wall. This luminous paint. What is that? Can we zoom in? S something about a robot? Sincerely unknown the something to the friends. Um, no, I've got no idea what that is. But I thought the hermit was going to be in here. And, you know, maybe he's a nice guy. Just, he's a bit misunderstood. Um, we, uh, we'll find out maybe. But I don't think there's anything else. That's back towards the start. Where's that bird? There he is. Is that the albatross again? Is that a seagull? I don't know what it is. It looks like it's made of gold. It's a golden seagull. <laughs> um... Yeah, so we'll go up here and see if we can find that collection of stones that we saw earlier. And maybe they'll talk to me like that fucking one up there did. Bloody scared the life out of me. The ba um, but let's see if we can go up here towards this little opening in the uh, in the side of the cliff. I can I can swim up this stream like a little fish. Um, and we can go and see what's up there, hopefully. Um, can we get round here? Is it? Oh, it's not going to let me in there, is it? God damn it! Never mind. Um, just looks like a little hole. Um, and there's like a little opening here, so I guess we'll go through this opening and see what's on the other side. Um, so, what have I gathered so far? Well, uh, it's very mysterious. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. There's a guy called Paul, there's an author called Donnelly, there's a narrator, and there's Esther. And so far, I'm getting the feeling that there's some sort of car crash, and they ended up here, maybe? And the narrator is talking about how he got to the island? Um, maybe... It's something like that. But I think that this is probably the end of chapter one. So I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Make sure you check out the next one.